It's uh, 7.30 in the morning here. Wanting an SEO assessment done on our website and then get information about what we need. Homer J, happy to do it. Hey, thanks for the hearts, guys. Apparently, there's a 50 year old man on the internet. I need virtual hearts. So, yeah, no, throw me the, um, Homer J, throw me the web address and we'll, we'll get cracking. We'll have a look. I'll see if I can do something. I'll, I'll do something for you today for, for 10 minutes. Um,. I mean, obviously, we have a more extensive product than that. But um, I'll do, do your freebie now, but you just got to give me your web address. Give you the highlights. Punkrockradio.net. Oh, awesome, a fun one. Let's have a look. Punk Rock Radio. Okay, so you can play along at home if you want to have a look at this. So what the first thing is I'm going to do is I'm just going to type site, S-I-T-E, colon, and then the web address, punkrockradio.net, not .com. Hang on a second. Site, punkrockradio, colon, dot .net. And what I'm looking for here is I'm looking to find out what Google already knows about the site. Now, Google thinks the site has over a thousand pages. I don't know if uh, that's what you think, but Google thinks you've got over a thousand pages. Uh, I'm just quickly scrolling through some of these. And what I'm looking for, ah, okay. Is this a WordPress site? Kind of feels that way. I'll have a look in a second. Don't believe so. Okay. One of the things I'm already seeing just by looking at the results is that you have got tags crawled and indexed. So the problem with that is is that if and I'll give you for instance um, www.punkrockradio.net forward slash tags Drupal. Okay forward slash tags forward slash Aussie punk. Now the problem with that is, is having these tags crawled, you've got the potential for uh, duplication of content. And the reason for that is, is that you've got the, the content available at that tag page, and then also at that, uh, the actual um, post page or article page. So one piece of content available at multiple addresses, which is a bad thing. Right, you want to eliminate that. So what I would do with the tags is I would add uh, no indexed, the, the no index tag uh, within um, uh, Drupal on those tag pages. Now, if you want to do that easily, um, well, easily for some, uh, not too long ago, a couple of months ago, maybe a month ago, eight weeks ago, something like that, um, Yoast released a plugin for Drupal, an SEO plugin. Uh, Yoast is an excellent plugin. It allows you to do a lot of these things that we talk about easily. It's not a magic bullet or anything like that. Um, so that's, I would probably go and install something like that without knowing the full installation of your Drupal installation, of course. Now I'm gonna start a crawler on the site because what I wanna know is, is that, what's your revenue model? Is it, um, Advertising? Is it um, selling product? So what I'm doing now is I'm running uh, the Screaming Frog crawler over it. Oh, subscription maybe? Could be the model there. Yeah, definitely those tags you want to um, no index. Okay, right. Okay, I'm seeing the media galleries. Let me just see what's going on there. Galleries, generally I, I tend to worry about because um, they can produce a lot of low, what Google would consider low quality pages, like a page with not much content on it, except maybe for an image. Um, 
so there's that and I'm just waiting for this crawl to finish now I don't think you've really got a thousand pages does a thousand pages seem too many to you let me just check I oh, definitely got to get rid of those tags yeah, add a no index tag to all those tag pages. That's what I'd do. Yeah, it sounds a lot. Um, we have a look here. Alkaline 2. Seem to have some duplication here. What's going on here? Artists, maybe as well, but don't. Definitely tags, not sure about artists yet. I'll have to have a look at that. Um, I'm trying to work out why Google thinks you've got a thousand. Okay. Yeah, we've got a lot of um, pages getting uh, index that I really don't think we want indexed. Um, for, for instance, um, yeah, for instance, um, the media gallery looks like it's producing lots of extra pages, like individual pages. Now, I don't know whether you're using that media gallery to embed images within posts and articles, which typically that's how it would be used. Um, but what's happening is is that Google is going in and indexing those individual images on their pages. So, for instance, um, if you're on Twitter, I could just post this on... Tw Actually, Homer J. Simpson, I can probably just tweet this to you. Have a look at this URL. I'm presuming you're on Twitter... And I'm presuming that actually, okay, we use the image gallery to publish photos from festivals. Yeah, but do you use that that functionality to put those then images within articles? That's what I'm assuming. I mean, you, you wouldn't be using it just to say, go and look at our gallery. Yeah. Ah, oh, Punk Rock Radio 2. Cool. All right. Have a look at this. Oh, Tweet Deck. Tweet Deck is misbehaving. I don't know. Ever since um, Twitter took over TweetDeck, it's been horrible. Well, maybe that's just me. Okay. All right. That's fine. Um, problem with that, though, is is that for Google, when Google comes along and sees that, excuse me while I get rid of my table. <laughs> when Google comes along and sees that, um, it's seeing just a page with a single photo on it now that has the potential to trigger a uh, well it gives the potential to trigger a low quality not penalty but signal because the uh, page doesn't have any text on it that is useful to a user it's simply a photograph now we could argue until the cows come home about you know why is that low quality but it doesn't matter because there's a thing called google panda which um thinks it is so you gotta get rid of that so let me just uh punk rock radio 2 uh at punk rock Radio 2. There it is. Have a look at this link. Right, now you're probably familiar with those. Ah, oh, geez, I don't know how to say hello in Russian. I should probably Google it. I'll try it. Um, so those sorts of pages they're going to be individual pages. So if you've got 500 photos, then there's 500 pages, right? And a lot of those are going to be 
just that. They're just going to be individual pages. So this is where, like right here, uh, the Aquabatch Soundwave in Melbourne, um, there's 10 photos right there, right? So that's a lot of, lot of pages. So it looks like your media gallery, your tags, and now it looks like the crawl that I'm doing on it is slowed down or is... In, yeah, that media gallery, it's killing you, man. I'm looking at that. Media gallery, tags. And it looks like I've got a lot of these um, forward slash user, forward slash register, forward slash destination. If a company is charging me $800 a month for SEO, is that a rip-off? Well, we charge about six or $7,000 a month. So... Uh, $800 a month, I don't know what you could get for that. Um, we charge on average around uh, $250 an hour. That's $250, not $2.50. Um, and our average spend is about $5,000 a month. So $800 a month. Hey, good on you, mate. You know, I've, I did it every day. Uh, I did it every day for six weeks, Pete. There you go. Um, yeah, so no, eight hundred dollars is extremely, extremely cheap. What you got to equate it back to is the value, though. You know, if you're getting great value for eight hundred dollars, awesome. Um, I couldn't provide great value for eight hundred dollars, though. There's not a lot I could do. Ah, right. Okay. Yeah, they've the smart company the. Um, not getting much traction with them anymore. They've they've changed their yeah, but still eight hundred dollars US is you know it's twelve hundred dollars Australian so or something like that. Um, yeah, you look at it about how many hours and what the hourly rate is for that. So let's just say someone's charging you eight hundred dollars a month and they charge themselves out at a hundred dollars an hour. You're only going to get eight hours work in that month, so. Now you might be able to do amazing things in that in that month at eight hundred dollars or that eight hours. Um, however, <clears throat> my experience with cheap SEO, and I say my experience with cheap SEO because I've taken clients on that have had cheap SEO in the past, is that a lot of them, and I'm not saying this is the case with your SEO, but a lot of them uh, will resort to basically buying backlinks. Uh, because that is the most cost-effective way of getting some short-term results. And I say short-term results because they are short-term. Okay, from an SEO perspective, what would you say the best way to eliminate the gallery problem? No index it. Every page. I would no, no index every page of the gallery, just add a no index tag. If you get the Yoast plugin, you should be able to do that, I think. Oh, you could do that as well, but I mean, in the first instance, I I would um, easiest thing to do rather than change the whole structure of the site is simply no index, uh, put the add the no index tag on the individual um, image pages. I wouldn't block it in robots.txt. Don't do that. Um, you just don't want an index. You happy. Because what you want to do, you want Google to be able to crawl it, you just don't want it to add it to the index. All right, You want Google to be able to see um, all the site, but if you block it in robots.txt, then you can have unintended consequences. Uh, well, island hopping will get you to no index it. Maintenance. Hmm. Well, if you're number one for everything, but uh, we set 90 day goals for clients, all right? So we say, okay, this is what we're going to do over the next 90 days. Uh, now, the, the 90-day goals might be a traffic goal. It might be a, excuse me while I plug a lead into my phone so we don't go dead. Uh, it might be a traffic goal. It might be, I'm going to stand up and keep talking. Uh, it might be a ranking goal. It might be a transactional goal. Like I want to have, you know, so many transactions or so many signups. It but whatever the goal is, you know, you've got to be doing something. And, and SEO isn't something that uh, you just stop. Um, 
the maintenance argument, it, that used to be the way, but the trouble is now with most businesses is the competition that, that is around you uh, and the fierce competition. And, and it isn't necessarily meaning that, you know, you're going to drop away once your SEO is done, uh, but you need to keep pedaling the bike or else you will fall off. Um, for instance, um, I just did a, I put together an SEO course for people on WordPress who, who blog, uh, uh, bloggersseo.com, if you want to go and have a look at that. And a couple of the sites that we used in um, producing that course, you know, one of them is, uh, she's number one for a really competitive phrase in Australia. But she will drop away from that unless she keeps producing content. Now you might say, well, she's there now, she doesn't need any more SEO help. Well, I said Al Qaeda? Uh-oh. Hi, mate. Um, hi, Bam Kapow. Uh, so, you know, to say that, uh, you know, once you get ranked and then all this is maintenance, means that you, you're you not looking at um, growing your business. So I would disagree with the statement that says, you know, because my, my, the, the SEO from my own site is shit. And why is it shit? Because I haven't looked at it for, for a long time uh, because I've been spending all the time looking at clients' SEO. And it used to be awesome, right? We used to be number one for everything and and now we're not and that's because we're number one for the things that we want to be number one for but you know we haven't been doing seo on our own site i've been doing maintenance don't worry about that but our rankings have dropped because we're not doing seo so look it depends on also on the competitive nature of the industry that you're in you might not have any other competitors who know anything about seo um and you know so Good luck to you. Hopefully that's helpful. I'm just going to have a quick look at... Now, yeah, Punk Rock Radio, I haven't actually had a look at your... Um, the other thing you might want to have a look at is these user... login pages. You've got lots of those as well. Um, so this is forward slash user forward slash login... question mark... What do we got? Yeah, look, I'm just going to forward these. These are going to look like um, soft 404s. Let's have a look here. By the way, we've got the big Google Penguin update coming any day soon. Uh, there was a lot of people who were saying, oh, it's been rolled out, it's been rolled out last weekend. That's not the case. You are a teacher? Uh, of sorts. Don't get paid to be a teacher. Uh, have a look at this one. Uh, because, by the way, if anyone else has got another domain they want to drop in, I've got five more minutes. So if you've got another website anyone wants me to have a look at, just drop that in there and I'm going to have a look at it. Um, but just on Punk Rock Radio, get rid of the tags out of the index, get rid of the media gallery out of the index, and get rid of those user login pages out of the index. All of those can just have the uh, the no index tag uh, on them, and they'll start disappearing, uh, because that's where all this um, extra duplication of content's coming from. Island Hopping, did you want me to have a look at your site before I log off? I got five minutes. Do it for free. No. Um, I could um, certainly assess whether the eight hundred dollars a month that you're spending is worth it. No, you're welcome, Homer J. Yeah, we do search engine optimization.
No, no one's got um, keyboard was right. Oh, no worries. Boy, it must be really cold there. Um, we had 42 degrees Celsius yesterday. That was hot. Damn hot. All right. Final call. If anybody else is... Uh... Oh, here we go. Decksolutions.com. Let's have a look. Okay, so we're going to go into Google. First thing, we're going to go to site, S-I-T-E, colon, deck solutions with a hyphen in there, dot com. And doing that in Google, it tells me you've got 64 pages. Oh, thanks for the hearts, mate. Appreciate that. 64 results. So now we're going to go across to our Screaming Frog Crawler and whack your domain name in there. So Google thinks there's 64 pages. Does that sound about right to you, island hopping? Good. Okay, the page titles. They've had a red hot go here at uh, doing some SEO. Probably too much of a red hot go. Yeah, they've gone a bit overboard here. Um, well, in my humble opinion. Uh, let's see what they're doing. Hmm. They're going for the old, um, by the looks of it, depth of content structure, or sorry, um, there, there used to be a technique uh, where you would try to show authority of content by having um, long directory structures. So for instance, you've got uh, directory structures like uh, forward slash decks, forward slash deck design, St. Charles. And then you've got other ones like forward, sla forward slash hardscapes, forward slash outdoor kitchens and fireplaces. What you're better off doing these days with your URL structures and your whole um... Hey, is Nick. Nick's, Nick's arrived. It's his first day back. I'm on Periscope, Nick. Um, so what um, we do these days is try to get everything as close to the root domain as possible. All right, and if you do that, you, you get an immediate bump. The other thing I can see a problem here is with your page titles. You've actually got too many phrases in your page title, titles. Like for instance, we've got on the stain and sealer page, we've got deck stain and then the pipe character, deck sealer and then the pipe character, deck staining and then the pipe character, deck sealing and then the pipe character. Too many. I would, um, these days I'd, I'd prefer just to have like one of those phrases, but I can understand that's not gonna possibly be uh, the case. You might wanna go, I don't know, deck staining uh, and then pipe deck sealing or something like that, but not those four phrases. Um, the other thing, we've got a lot of uh, on page what we call permanent redirects. I want to get rid of those because uh, they're not helping. A couple of 404s, not a big deal. Let me just check your other. Just reading your robots.texts. They're all okay. Okay, now I'm going to have a look at your uh, H1s and H2s. So these guys are having a red hot go here. H1s aren't too bad. Um, let me just quickly go and have a look in the index. Now I'm guessing you're going for local are you going are you looking for local traffic, local business? Let me go and have a look at your website. Because at the moment I'm still in 
in Google. I haven't got to the website yet. Oh, man. Hey, <laughs> you're on WordPress. Uh, and you've still got... Can I tweet you something? This is ridiculous. Yeah, the, there's a few things that haven't been set up properly here. Have you got Google Search Console set up? If you haven't got Google Search Console set up, get it set up. And I would definitely, the one thing I would do is get rid of these long directory structures. I reckon if you did that, before you did anything else, bonsoir, before you did anything else, then you'd have an immediate bump in rankings. Get rid of those long directory structures. So just have all your posts and all your pages as close to the root as possible. Don't have all these, you know, decks, outdoor lighting, hardscapes, deck cleaning, restoration. Well, so for instance, can I tweet you at Island Hopping? So, for instance, I would prefer, you know, I'm looking at this page, is it Azek Composite Decking, right? I, at the moment, that is forward slash decks, forward slash composite decking, forward slash Azek Composite Decking. I don't have Twitter. Okay. I can't show you. <laughs> Does that make sense? So, if you go, if you go to your page... Um, ASIC composite decking you got forward slash decks forward slash composite decking forward slash ASIC composite decking I just I want to get rid of that those two directories in the middle across the whole site I want to get rid of all those and just have that post um, <coughs> the post structure is itself not too bad except that you know, if I just take this as X composite decking, um, you've got a H1 on the top of the page, which is what you should have, and then you've got immediately a H2 following it. Get rid of that H2 following it. Turn it into a span or a div or something like that. Turn it in, re remove the heading to format of that. Um, if I have a look at some of the images, Then I just want to see if you've got any. Yeah, you don't. You don't. We don't have keywords in our image file names. So when you when you're naming images to upload to your site, use your keywords in them. I well by Australian standards. I mean I haven't had an extensive look at it, but by an Australian standard, that'd be probably on par with what you'd pay here, so twelve thousand you're talking about seven, eight, eighteen thousand dollars. Yep, tell me about it. Google Search Console, awesome. Um so for that deck solutions, Island Hopping. Yeah, you there are no index pages, etc. coming up. Exactly what part of Google Search Console are you in, Homer J? Um, so, Deck Solutions, Island Hopping. Uh, the biggest impact that you can have on your site right now is getting rid of those long directories and just going straight to the uh, straight to the post, straight to the article. Got to go, Homer J. Tell me what. Uh, tell me what area of search console you're in. Homer J. Um, if you are in the Google Index section of Google Search Console and you're seeing zero pages indexed, then you have probably set up the wrong site. You've probably set up either www when you should have set up just the root domain or the reverse is true view details area you're welcome tell your friends hmm tweet uh, 
tweet me a screenshot of what you're looking at and I'll, I'll have a look at it later on today and shoot you a, a message back. But right now, I've got to go. Thanks, guys. This has been fun. First one for 2016. Do you want to do it again tomorrow? <laughs> I'm going to enjoy the worm as well, mate. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.